Hello and welcome to Thread Sketching in Action number 74. I'm Deborah Wursu of DebraWursu.com and it's great to have you join me here today. The Little Fat Bird featuring this week uses a similar technique to the autumn leaves I used in number 73, beginning with a digital print that I've then coloured in with thread. I did have all sorts of plans to go off in different directions with a new theme this week, but I have to confess that an overload of work commitments has rather got in the way, so I opted for working on another digital image. This is a technique that is so versatile as there are so many options for design style, from pictorial, like this little fat bird, to abstract. When I create these digital prints, I don't simply print off photos or a design, Quite a lot of preparation work goes into manipulating them to achieve the effect I'm after, all done in advance of the printing process. The stitching of this piece is largely comprised of free motion zigzag stitch, with a little straight stitch here and there to add a few detailed touches. And the colouring in uses a blending technique that overlays and mixes the colours until the right look appears. And of course, having the underlying print adds another layer of colour, which all go together to create the final picture. Unlike the autumn leaves piece, this time I have allowed some of the underlying colour from the print to show through. A decision I needed to make during the stitching process was whether to accurately replicate the lie of the bird's feathers with directional straight stitch. Many thread sketches take this approach, as beautiful representation of feathers can be achieved. But I was, once again, attracted to the effect of making the piece look a little like tapestry or needlepoint, as I did with the autumn leaves, and I do think it really works quite well. Here and there, a little directional stitch has been used, but there isn't much of this. As I've said many times in the past, the order of stitching is important. Just as you'd work from background to foreground in a landscape, with this bird I stitched his fat tummy and legs first. Although these may appear to be in the foreground, the edges of the tummy actually lie underneath the wing feathers, face and beak, so in order to avoid having the shape of the bird appear incorrect, I was sure to start with the underlying feathers first, working around the bird until I got to the head, which was really very important to get looking right. When working any thread sketch like this, don't be afraid to use quite strong or dominant colours. It never ceases to amaze me how even a bright colour will not look out of place when it's mixed and blended with the colours around it. The two stronger colours I've used here are a deep but quite bright red and an off-white or ecru for highlights. If you'd like to join the free resource library or stay in touch with my studio or take a class with me, please visit my website at debraworsu.com where you'll also find loads of free tips, tutorials and videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll look forward to joining you again next time.